Hello, my name is Kelly Murdoch, and I'm the author of the Maya Basics book. And I will be your guide as we go through learning about Maya, so hopefully you can do something creative with it. In this chapter, we're going to focus on learning the Maya interface. Now, at first look, the Maya interface is kind of intimidating, but if you break it down into pieces, it's, it's not that bad. Up here at the top, you've got a menu, and almost every command can be accessed from the menus. Now there are several different menus that you can select using this menu set drop down list. There's uh, options for modeling and if you notice the latter half of the menu bar will change as you access these different menu sets. Um, the first six menu options will not change. They'll say the same for all the different menu sets. Beneath that, you've got a toolbar of buttons called the status line. Here you've got uh, buttons to open a new file, uh, save a file, which is really important to do. Your undo and redo buttons are here. Uh, and any button in the interface, if you hold the mouse over, uh, a pop-up window will appear to show you what the name of that button is and what its function is. Beneath that is a toolbar called the shelf that can hold all different types of button based on the type of work that you want to do. Like here's one for animation, here's one for poly modeling, and you can use the menus over here to create new uh, tabs of buttons that you can access. Uh, here in the main interface is the main view panel. Over here at the side you've got the properties in the what's called the channel box. Um, there is a more advanced uh, property editor called the Attribute Editor that you can show and hide using this button here. Uh, next to it is the channel box one here. And if you're using a tool, uh, the tool settings can be opened using this button here. There's also a couple buttons here for the modeling toolbox and for the character controls. Over here on the left, you've got the toolbox. These are the main transform tools and selection tools that you have. We'll cover those later. Um, here are the, the panel layout buttons. You can use this to switch from uh, one viewport uh, to four or side by side, whatever you desire, just using these buttons here. At the bottom of the interface is the animation controls. Over here at the right, you'll see some animation controls for playing, stopping, and cycling through the animation. You can slow it down using the frame rate button here. Increase it or decrease it like this. Gives you control over the rate at which the animation plays. The timeline is here. It shows all the various frames and you can scrub through them by moving the cursor. The little red lines are the keys that are set. You can also set the animation range using this range slider. Uh, at the bottom is a help line that shows you the commands it's expecting. Um, if you get lost, you can always look here and get some information. There is also a mel line that you can use to enter mel script commands. Um, these are textual commands that will let you uh, control the interface. So this is a good start. And if you know the interface, in the next chapter we're going to talk about this uh, center view panel and being able to manipulate that.